In this video, we're going to go through metals, nonmetals, and metalloids. So we're going to start by talking about physical properties. The physical properties are a characteristic that does not involve a chemical change. So like appearance, the color, um, whether or not it has a luster to it, it's shiny, boiling point, conductivity, malleability. Malleability means that if we press down on it, we can flatten it into a disc. Chemical properties, on the other hand, determine whether a chemical substance can react or not. So like flammability, whether or not it causes the chemical reaction, pH. So on our periodic table, all of the metals are in blue here. Okay, All of the nonmetals are in yellow. And if you notice, between them we have this like staircase looking thing. Those are where the metalloids are. Metals are shiny. Think about metals that you've seen before, like copper, gold, silver. They're very shiny. The word lustrous means the same thing. Metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. The wiring inside of your house is probably copper wiring, and copper is a very good conductor of electricity. It's malleable, meaning it can be hammered into a sheet or, or flattened into a disc. <clears throat> if you've ever seen pennies that have been put on railroad tracks, which I'm not condoning, but pennies that get run over by trains will flatten out into a very thin sheet. Ductile, meaning it can be drawn into a wire. So think about the copper wiring in your house. It can be drawn into a wire, and those wires can be bent, and it doesn't break. Metals also react with acids, and most solids are, uh, I'm sorry, most are solids at room temperatures. So most metals are solids at room temperatures. There are some exceptions. So mercury, for example, is a metal but it's a liquid at room temperature. Nonmetals are pretty much the opposite of metals. So they're dull. Instead of being shiny, they're dull. They're poor conductors of heat and electricity. They're not malleable. So when you try to press on them, they'll break, they'll crumble. They're not ductile. They usually do not react with acid, and most are gases at room temperatures. Some are liquids, some are solids, but if you think of nonmetals, let's just take a quick peek here. Look at the nonmetals oxygen, gas at room temperature. Um, nitrogen, another one, gas at room temperature. Metalloids are found on the staircase and have properties of both metals and nonmetals. Okay, so again, on the staircase here, if I pick something like silicon, for example, silicon has properties of metals, so silicon tends to be pretty shiny, but then it also has properties of nonmetals. So doesn't conduct electricity the same way that metals do. So they have properties of both. So let's take a look at this. It's very soft. It's a good conductor of electricity. And it is somewhat shiny, kind of hard to tell from the picture here. This is actually copper. Okay, so copper we can press into a disc, we can flatten it. It's a good conductor of electricity. Metal, non-metal, or metalloid. This looks like uh, just a pile of, like, egg. Uh, this is dull, not shiny at all. And I know it was kind of hard to tell from this picture here, but that should be relatively shiny. Here you can definitely tell that this isn't shiny. Uh, and it doesn't react with acid, so this would be a non-metal. This is actually sulfur. Okay, here, this is shiny, which is a property of a metal. It conducts electricity, which is also a property of a metal, but it's brittle, which is a property of a nonmetal. So this would be a metalloid, and this is actually a chunk of silicon. So those are the properties of metals, nonmetals, and metalloids.